Hey everybody, Two Chicks and a Tool Belt here. And today we are going to be showing you a quick little video on how easy it is to update your kitchen cabinets. So this is part of my kitchen island right here. And I painted this a few years ago in our raindrop. And now I'd like to go back through and paint it the same color as the rest of my cabinets, which is our old lace, which is kind of our off-white. So Michelle's got some paint and a brush here. You can see that we've got one panel where we've already put one coat on. So I just kind of want to show you how um, easy it is to get started. Okay, so we are using a chalk painting brush and this is one of our own brushes that we designed. It's beveled. Uh, chalk painting brushes hold a lot of paint on the end of the paint brush so it actually works the paint in to the wood instead of just dragging it over and that uses less paint and then levels it out so you can see how I can really get into those corners and it doesn't ruin my brush at all it's awesome so I also want to point out here how much she's dragging the paint so if you watch, she'll dip her brush in. She's not overloading the brush, kind of wiping off the excess so things aren't dripping. And then she is dragging and um, spreading this paint as far as she can get it to go before she redips her brush. This is an important step when you're putting on your first coat with any project that you're painting because it kind of creates that, that first base and creates a layer that your second and third coats can really adhere to nicely. And she's not super stressed about making sure that it's even all laying in the same directions. She's really just trying to get it level and smooth and all that good stuff. Notice how I'm holding the brush as well, kind of like a pencil. You want to be up next to the bristles and actually holding onto the, um, how do you say, the ferrule. ferrule again. Yep, she's yep. actually holding on to the ferrule. Yep. Just like she said, she's got a, a grip on it similar to that of a pencil. This gives her really good control and allows her to work the paint into the surface that she's painting. That black that you're seeing in there was the first color that the island was. <laughs> the trial, the trial run. Oh no, it was. No, it, it was black for a while. Black for a while. Mm -hmm. oh, I remember that. And then I, I painted it that. raindrop, and now I'm just looking for something a little bit more timeless and classic. And plus, I've got a, a lot of other colors going on in the kitchen, so. So you can see how this is kind of shiny right here. And then you can see right here how it's already more matte finish. So it does dry pretty quickly. But I'm gonna go back on this panel over here and do another coat. Uh, a lot of you will notice that, well, if you've painted before, you'll really know that painting with a white doesn't cover like painting with a color paint does. Whites have very little to no pigment in them, so painting over something dark um, or a darker wood color or something like that, you're generally going to have to do at least three coats. Sometimes, it's actually looking pretty good, but that might also be because there was previously chalk paint, so this surface is going to be a little bit more um, forgiving. Yeah. Is that the right word yeah. for it? But yeah, you may you may need three coats to get the full coverage that you're looking for. And there's on the other side, there's two coats, so we can even move around to the to the other side, the other side where. I've, where I've started painting. This is all really just a ploy to get Michelle to paint my kitchen island for me. <laughs> Keep going, you're doing a great right, job. Right? 
<laughs> it's, a, it's a good arm workout. It is a good arm workout. You just don't want to keep going over it if it's wet. That's like the biggest mistake. Mm -hmm. If you do that, um, it's just going to gum up and you're going to hate it and it's going to look awful. So the biggest thing is just make sure it's dry. So you can go all the way around once and by the time you're done, it'll be ready to, to paint again. So generally in good, you know, weather or if you're houses above 50 if your husband lets you <laughs> have a good house temperature then it will dry 15 20 minutes so you can see how far just one dip of your paintbrush goes So again, she's not loading up her brush with an excessive amount of paint. And she can see how much she's dragging and working that paint into the cabinet. And then I don't know if you noticed, but on the second coat on this middle panel here, she used a little bit more paint and didn't drag it as far to start to build that coverage. And you will see the brush strokes, so don't worry about that because once you've covered it, it will level out and you won't see those brush strokes. I promise it will look like you have spray painted it, which you could do as well. Yeah, paint guns work really well. Okay. So Let me... this one you've already done two coats on? Mm-hmm. And it got a little dirty because my trash boys can. keep the trash can right here. So I did clean this entire cabinet with warm water and baking soda before I began painting. Do we need to clean this? We probably should. I don't want to paint over it if it's I'm sure not it's... clean. Well, why don't you just work on the outside okay. panels, this outside trim work here then and people yeah. can get the gist. So you can see how well this is covering. So this is the third coat on this and you even though the paint is wet you really you can't see brush strokes here. guys when you have a big kitchen it can feel a little intimidating but really if you take a few hours to prep you can put a um, create like a spray station and use a paint gun on your the kitchen the cabinet boxes which will stay in place and or you can do it all by hand with, with the right brush and Take a, take a day to just take all the doors off and lay those down someplace where you can paint and work. And then what you can do too is you can hire us. We actually have a cabinet package. So it's $250 and we come out for two hours and help you paint your, your kitchen cabinets and make sure that you're comfortable and confident and feeling look how easily that cleaned off yeah there wasn't even there's not even a, a clear mm -hmm. coat on that yet so but yeah we'll come and stay with you for two hours and and make sure that you're feeling comfortable and confident and if you aren't feeling ready to go at it on your own after the two hours then we do have a, a per hour rate and we can stay with you for a little bit longer if if you would like so but this is a great way for just a few hundred dollars to completely change the look of your kitchen. And 
get it's, a lot more money out of it. Yeah, it's, we all know that kitchen and baths sell houses, right? At least that's what they keep telling us. So, but uh, yeah, it's it's really. I figure probably most kitchens. What would you say? Estimate under five hundred dollars. Oh, easily. Yeah. 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 So. Unless you have to buy new hardware or something like that, but. Yeah, if your cabinets yeah. are structurally sound and mm -hmm. you can reuse your doors and your hardware, then yeah, some good brushes and a few quarts of paint and. And an extended weekend. You can have a whole new kitchen. So, okay, well, let us know if you have any questions or let us know if you've already updated your kitchen or your bathroom and you'd like to share some pictures with us. We'd love to see them. And uh, we appreciate you guys watching the video. Have a great day.